All right. Just a little fun here. So Irma, never been around horses except at a distance in the pasture, watching them, you know, in the pasture and watching us move them around. But as you can see, Sebastian doesn't care. Irma doesn't care. She's too busy playing keep away with the other dogs and just having fun on a beautiful Kentucky day. <laughs> Vegas wants to discipline her. Fish wants to discipline her for running crazy. <laughs> but it's been raining for the last couple of days and they haven't had a chance to get out. So they're just having fun. And uh, dogs and horses get along pretty well as long as both animals have been socialized with each other. My horses, Sebastian here, used to dogs. My dogs used to horses. And they just don't see them as any kind of an issue. So for me, when I start trail riding with a dog like Irma, it's really just about obedience. So let's see if we can acquire her obedience real quick. Irma, come. Come. Down. So there you go. If you can acquire the dog's obedience from horseback, then really that's all you need. You need dog that comes when they're called, sits and downs and stays when they're told. And, uh, you know, the rest of it's just practice and experience. Irma, let's go. So she's like, are we healing now? Heal. Uh-uh. Good. Come on. She's like, where are you, Dave? What do you want to do? Irma, come. Sit. Uh-uh. That's right. Irma, sit. Here, sit. There you go. She doesn't understand the hand signal from up here. Irma. Good girl. Sit. There you go. Down. Sit. Much better. So now she sees me and understands. I think a minute ago the sun was in her eyes. She couldn't really see who I was. Once again, very little experience with dogs or horses, but it doesn't matter. She figured it out real quick. Down. Irma, sit. Okay. Okay, what? All right. So that's a little bit about tootling around horses and dogs.